Hello there, I'm Barbara. Sarah, these are the top stories on Al Jazeera. At least 72 people have been killed and more than 200 injured in an explosion in southwestern Pakistan in the city of Quetta. Imtiaz Tayeb is in Islamabad. Attack uh, follows uh, another major deadly attack against this Shia Hazara community. Only in January, close to 100 people were killed in a similar attack. Now, the group that claimed responsibility for that attack has claimed responsibility for this attack. This group is known as Lakshar e Jungvi. Uh, it's a group that's been banned since 2001. Uh, it's a pro Sunni sectarian group uh, which has, in recent years, uh, been launching uh, increasing attacks on this uh, Shia Hazar community. Now, the government has promised to go after Lakshar e Jungvi. Uh, but Saturday's bombing really shows uh, just how unable or in some cases unwilling they are to go after this group. Thousands of protesters have gathered in Tunisia's capital in support of the country's ruling in Nada party. They're rejecting a proposal from the country's prime minister for a government of technical specialists, a so-called technocrat government, to take over. Hashem al Barra has more now from Tunis. This gathering comes at a crucial time for another party which has been accused of undermining the secular principles of the Republic. Now they have a strong signal to send to their opponents. Another remains the biggest political party in Tunisia. Hashim al Barra Al Jazeera, Tunis. The soldier in charge of Iraq's intelligence academy and two bodyguards have been killed in a suicide bomb attack. It happened near the home of Brigadier General Ali Aouni in the northern town of Talafar, just outside Mosul. He was director of the Defense Ministry's intelligence school. Lots more on all those stories on our website, the address aljazeera.com. Well, those were the headlines on Al Jazeera, and that's all from me, Barbara Sarah. Bye-bye.